Hi, in this video we're going to learn about square root functions. Specifically, at the end of the video, you are supposed to be able to graph the square root function and find its domain and range. Let's begin with vocabulary. A square root function is a function that contains square root of a variable. It's just one of the type of radical functions. There are others, but we're just going to focus with the square root function. Other radical function can be cube root function, fourth root function, and higher. Here is your key concepts showing your parent function of a square root function. Here is your parent function. f of x is equal to the square root of x. The domain is or x only allows values greater than or equal to zero. Negative is not allowed. That's why it says here numbers less than zero is not defined in this parent in this square root parent function. Now range is going to be greater than or equal to zero because if you have here zero, square root of zero is zero. If you have 1, square root of 1 is 1, so it's also greater than 0. A parent function only intersects at the origin, 0, 0. The end behavior, the left side only ends at 0. It does not extend. x approaches 0 as y approaches 0. The right side of the function, as it approaches to the positive infinity, the y goes up. Positive infinity means the y, the, the graph goes up. Okay, next. Now, we are going to focus on domain and range. How do you find domain? Domain are the values that can be possible inside the square root symbol so that it will be greater than or equal to zero. In a parent function, remember, f of x is equal to square root of x. Your domain is defined by your condition x should be greater than or equal to zero. But actually, this is the main formula, or there's another formula, but it's the same. The value inside should be greater than or equal to zero. Now, domain range is a bit tricky compared compared to domain. Range or results from domain are substitu substituted to the function. When you graph, it's actually your y value. Given a general formula formula of a square root function. There's supposed to be a here, but we're just focusing on domain and range. Your actually range, where your range is actually determined by the value of k. Now, if your function is a positive function, f of x is equal to the square root of x plus zero since it's a parent function. Therefore, k is zero. When you graph using your graphing calculator, it should look like this range is only concerned with y. If you look at the graph, your y starts from 0 and it goes up. Therefore, if this is your function, your range is going to be y is greater than or equal to 0 because y, as you can see in the graph, it just goes up. This may go slower, or, but it will still go up. Okay. Next, if your function has a negative, it changes things up. If you're going to graph using your calculator, the graph actually goes down. And when you look at your graph, with the respect to y, the y values are all are is going down and they are negative. Therefore, instead of using greater than, your range should be y is less than or equal to zero. That is the case if there is a negative. It applies if there is negative 2, negative 3, as long as it is negative, remember to use a less than or equal to symbol. Let's have your first example. Find the domain range of the given. The given is f of x is equal to the square root of x minus 2. Remember, here's your guide. Instead of a parent function, if there's a number, the whole thing will be written at the right side of greater than or equal to 0. So when you solve for domain, you just write x minus 2 and then the greater than equal to 0. Whatever is inside, you just write it on the right side of greater than or equal to 0. 
and then so we are actually just looking for x so we need to get rid of 2 by adding plus 2 plus 2 so your x is greater than or equal to 2 and that is actually your domain this function only allows starting from 2 3 and onwards greater than 2 1 is not allowed why 1 minus 2 will be a negative number so it's not possible it's an imaginary number the domain only allows 2 and higher therefore that's your domain how about range remember it's a tricky guide here says if it's positive greater than if it's negative less than since it's positive we already saw y is greater than it's not 2 we are looking for k since there's no k so it means 0 so y is greater than or equal to 0 that's your range our next example has an, has an actual k value let's proceed number 2 the given function is f of x is equal to 2 times the square root of x plus 1 minus 3 you are looking for domain and range remember here is your guide to find domain you just equate x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 to find the domain we will just do subtraction subtract 1 on both sides and so you find your domain it's actually x is greater than or equal to negative 1 and that's your domain range again it's a positive function so we're going to use greater than y is greater than negative 3 and that's how you find your domain and range now we are also going to learn how to graph graphing a square root function follows the following transformation h is actually supposed to be in the formula it's negative but your h which is the x coordinate of your vertex should be changed sign k is actually your y coordinate of the vertex a is just the the stretch or compress vertically if it's bigger than one it's stretched vertically if it's a fraction the graph is compressed it's like flatter now if the, the a is negative that's the time that the graph is reflected across the x-axis let's check your third example this time we're going to graph but we're still going to identify the domain range your third example f of x is equal to 3 times the square root of x minus 4 plus 2 to graph first you need to determine your vertex your hk since this is minus your x is actually positive y is 2 that is your vertex and that is located here 4 2 and that's your first point where do you go do you go up or do you go down since it's positive it's going up this three is the tricky part so you see if there's no number here it means it's one your next point is supposed to be here since it's three it's vertically stretched or the graph it's not here but actually it's here because it's times three if there's no number it's it's if there if it, there's no number it means it's one the next point is supposed to be here since it's three it's gonna be here and then we can now just estimate the graph unless you want to check the actual graph on your graphing calculator that's how you graph identify your hk remember change the sign and that will be your x coordinate of your graph and the k does not change which is your y of your vertex what is your domain x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0 add 4 on both sides and we found your domain your domain can be written in this manner some of your activity has this form of answers domain is such that it's an x greater than or equal to 4 how about your range since it's positive we will use greater than or equal to and then of course range is y and it's greater than or equal to 2 and that's your range 
let's have your fourth example let's graph the squared the uh, the squared function f of x is equal to negative square root of x plus 5 minus 6 when you start graphing first you need to identify your vertex since this is positive it means x is negative 5 y is negative 6 only the h changes sign and that will be your vertex your negative 5 is here negative 6 is here so this is your first point now since it is a negative instead of going up it's going down since there's no number your next point is supposed to be here because square root of 1 is 1 so here and so you can just roughly estimate your graph unless you want to check on your graphing calculator what is the domain x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0 minus 5 on both sides therefore the domain is x is greater than or equal to negative 5 and that's your domain range remember since it's negative we are going to use less than and so your range is y is less than or equal to negative 6 and that's how you graph and find domain and range of your square root function the next slide is not a example it's actually a pop quiz which of the following is the correct graph of a given function f of x is equal to 3 times the square root of x minus 2 minus 3 and the correct answer is letter D because your um, vertex is positive to negative 3 this is the correct location of your vertex positive to negative 3 we have one more state the domain and range of the given function f of x is equal to negative of the square root of x plus 1 subtract 4 your domain should be greater than or equal to negative 1 since it's a negative you are expecting for a less than and the correct answer is letter A congratulations to those who got the correct answer to those who didn't I think you may want to watch or review some parts of the video I hope you learned how to graph a quadrat uh, a square root function and determine its domain and range thank you